So this is where we're going to go today. We're going to follow the purple path with the black turn arrows directing us from the geniculum in the lower left here, across the Tiber and through the Campus Martius, down to the Capitoline, around the northern side of the Forum, through the Esquiline, past Mary Major, up to Termini train station, and around Santa Maria degli Angeli, then back down the Viminal Hill, bumping over the Quirinal Hill, over the capital line a second time, through the heart of the for of the Roman Forum, over the Palatine, around the Circus Maximus, and then the up onto the Aventine briefly before we traverse the bank of the Tiber all the way back up to the Castle Sant'Angelo here, which begins the main boulevard Via della Conciliazione to St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican. At the end of the movie, we will also see what this looks like in ancient times. Okay, coming off the Janiculum Hill then, on the right we have the Jewish neighborhood of Trastevere, where in Christ's time oil came out of the ground when he was born. Um, on the far bank we have the southern side of the Campus Martius, which is the military parade ground where the Roman units would practice their marching and their maneuvers. Um, along the edge of the river here there were lots of giant pools where the emperors would stage naval battles with real ships sinking in death and everything. Um, cutting up to the Corso, which is the main road through the Campus Martius, on the far left you can see the Pantheon's dome disappearing on the left. And then here on our right we have San Andrea de la Valle, where I think John the Baptist's head is at. In front of us is the Jesuit church, the Church of the Jesu, where St. Ignatius of Loyola and the hand of St. Francis Xavier are buried. Here we're coming to the white monument of Mussolini called the typewriter or the um, wedding cake. And that is oh, surrounded by the forms of the emperors in color here. And then on the right, no color is the main Roman form. But Mussolini built this highway, bulldozed it right through to the Colosseum or Flavian Amphitheater. And um, so now you can drive through it today. Behind the Flavian Amphitheater is a bit of Nero's Golden House, which was um, a giant palace he had, and part of it was turned into the Baths of Trajan. So up, we're up on the Esquiline now, up on the Esquiline Hill, is where all that is. On the far side of the Esquiline was this lower depressed part of the city called the Suburra, literally downtown. And this was full of apartment buildings where the poor lived. Um, now, up on one little hill here, there's Saint Santa Maria Maggiore, St. Mary Major, which is one of the five big basilicas of Rome. In fact, that's where um, Mary indicated by the miracle of the snows that she wanted a basilica built in her honor. Coming up to the Baths of Diocletian here, all around here, this has been turned into the Church of Santa Maria degli Angeli e dei Martiri, St. Mary of the Angels and of the Martyrs. But it's still this giant bath complex, um, architecturally, all, so that's why it's been preserved over the centuries. Going out, back out the front side of that like we came, we're going to head back to the Roman Forum, um, heading down the Viminal here. On our right is the Quirinal, where the Presidential Palace of Italy is sits. And um, right before we hit the Quirinal here, we're going to pass on the right is the Bath of Constantine, although they're not really visible anymore. Okay, so here's the, Quir the end of the Quirinal Hill. And on the far side, you'll see the yellow form of Trajan, in the m and underneath of us is Trajan's column there, commemorating his victories in Dacia or Romania. We're going to go around the typewriter up onto the Capitoline, where the Roman um, Parliament meets in the building on the right there. And this looks gorgeously over the Roman Forum, where which was the center of their commercial, religious, and political life for hundreds of years. Um, turning to the right, we're going up onto the Palatine, where the Roman emperors had their palaces, eventually pushing everybody else off un until it was one giant palace. Uh, the far side, uh, the southern side of the Palatine overlooks the Circus Maximus, where chariot racing was held. The Circus Maximus is, is a mile in loop, so half a mile long. And at the far end of it down there on our left is the Kylian Hill, in the midst of which is um, the, Basil the Basilica of the Pope, the actual one called St. John Lateran. His, the Pope's Basilica is not St. Peter's Basilica, it's actually St. John Lateran. 
turning around on the Circus Maximus on the south here, then on our left we have the Aventine Hill, which today is covered with monasteries like the you know the Benedictine and the Knights of Malta and so all these various religious institutions. And that hill overlooks the Tiber again. So here is the furthest north that ships could come from the ocean. And so, of course, you can imagine there were great warehouses and docks in this area. They couldn't go past the island, Isla, 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 Isle of the T Tiberine Island here on our left, which had a temple to Aesculapius or Asclepius, who was one of the few humans who was divinized in the pagan world as a deity because he was such a good doctor. Um, Today it still has a hospital, but it um, is, of course, Christian, consecrated as a church rather than as an ancient temple. So we've come back to our starting point, going past the campus marshes again, and we're working our way around the curve of the Tiber River. You can see on the left up there St. Peter's Basilica's Dome, where all the pilgrims come. But we're heading first to the right to the Mausoleum of Hadrian, which eventually became called the Castle Sant'Angelo, when one of the popes had a vision of a St. Michael on top of it, sheathing his sword, symbolizing the end of, a, of the plague. So from this starts the Via della Conciliazione, which is often packed with pilgrims whenever there is like a canonization. You can fit two million people along this boulevard leading up to the obelisk here where St. Peter was crucified upside down and St. Peter's Basilica where he was buried. Looking back at the ancient map of, of the city then and seeing where we went, you can see we started at the Janiculum here on the west and went past Trastevere in the orange, crossed over to this green area called the Campus Martius, went a little ways up the bank of the river past the Navalia or naval yards for the Roman Navy, and um, where all the Roman naval battles were. Then we went right through the Corso, through the middle of the Campus Martius, and you saw in purple on the left the Dome of the Pantheon passing, surrounded by several blue bath complexes here of Nero and Agrippa. And then we passed San Andrea delle Valle, and right at the end of this road is the Church of the Jesu, the Ignatian, um, St. Ignatius's body, and the Jesuit church. Um, then we came into the giant square in front of the typewriter or wedding cake, which is surrounded by the forms of the emperors. You have Caesar and Augustus and Trajan there, and that's on the northern end of this Capitoline Hill. So then we went um, on the northern side of the Forum along Mussolini's Boulevard to the Colosseum, and we popped up onto the Esquiline Hill where there used to be Trajan's Baths, and over the Esquiline Hill to this little hill, which is where St. Mary Major is today. Um, then the Viminal Hill was where that meets the Quirinal Hill is where the Bath of Diocletian, also called Santa, Santa Maria, Santa Maria degli Angeli e dei Martiri was. And so we went around that and then went down the main governmental road of the city, passing the palace on the right and the Baths of Constantine back to the form of Trajan where we saw Trajan's column there. And we worked our way around the Capitoline um, where their parliament building is and went over the forum itself, the Roman forum itself, which was the oldest and biggest of the Roman forums. And then up onto the Palatine, where the palaces were, worked our way around the Circus Maximus, saw the Caelian Hill there in the distance. We didn't go look at the Baths of Caracalla, but they're not as good because, you know, kind of falling down, although they, they are truly huge. And then we bumped, went over the edge of this Part of the Aventine Hill until we came back to the Tiber River, past the island of the Tiber, and then worked our way around the bend up to the Castle Sant'Angelo, also known as Hadrian's Mausoleum, and then up the Via delle Conciliazioni to Nero's Circus, where St. Peter was crucified upside down. And of course, he was buried at the far end of that in a cemetery that is now the basement of St. Peter's Basilica.